Like when you give with no expectation, it enriches your life beyond anything. It's almost like it draws more mm -hmm. of the resources to you. I legitimately can look and if somebody has no resources in their life, like I understand going through rough patches yeah. and hitting broke, mm -hmm. okay? But poverty is a disease. It is not a bank account. Broke is your bank account. You hit yeah. rough times, man, you hit rough patches in life, a business collapses, you can be broke. Yeah. Not a problem. But if you choose to stay there long term and it turns into poverty, then that's a disease of the mind and the spirit. Mm -hmm. I believe it's a disease of the soul. But uh, but but when I see that long term, and I know people are going to get really, really frustrated or probably send something mean to me about mm -hmm. this, but when I see that long term, in a in a society or a group of people or a single person, I know beyond a shadow of a doubt that's not a giver. How do you howl with a ho? Yes, welcome to the Sales Wolves podcast and Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays. I am Joseph Caldwell. This is Tyler Harris, and we are the Sales Elves. Elves. We're <laughs> <laughs> Sales Wolves. We're Sales Wolves. Oh. We're gonna have a short podcast because we want to get on to our Christmas today. Because we want to go unwrap our. We gifts. made our kids wait to open up presents <laughs> until after we were done with the podcast. So, um, and and I made Tyler wait for his Christmas bonus until after he um, did the podcast. So. He really wants to be done. And my chestnuts are roasting on an open fire. On an open fire. <laughs> <laughs> if they were on the wall, would they be called walnuts? <laughs> we just cannot. It always goes back to the judge. It always, <laughs> always. Sorry, so today, um, we were talking earlier, like, what do we do for a Christmas podcast? And this is the season of what? Of giving. Um, it's what you hear people say, right? I thought you were going to say eating. Eating. It's the season of <laughs> gaining. But, uh, but you look at what we've talked about all year with our sales podcast, and it's always about hustle. It's about what you can do, what you can get. Um, but, uh, but you know what? One important aspect of both of our lives that that we probably don't talk about enough and that I would venture to say that almost every single successful person, they, they don't talk about it enough mm -hmm. is what they give back. And, and the fact that really you're, you're blessed to be a blessing. You get blessed by being a blessing. Mm -hmm. Um, and, uh, and so that's one of the things we wanted to talk about today was just giving and, and, and giving with no expectation of return. Yep. Um, but giving just for the sake of giving, like what, you know, when you've taken responsibility for your own life, your own finances you, and, and, and your family, and you've got things squared away there, which most people, they're not even there. Mm -hmm. But when you've done that, it really allows you to take a deep breath and and look around and see, hey, who else can I help? Mm -hmm. Like who, you know, when, when you can't even help yourself, when you don't, if, if I don't have air to breathe, like your air is not real important to me, mm -mm. if that makes sense. It's, it, I don't care if you have air, if I don't have air. Yeah. Um, but, but when I've got plenty of air and I can look over and see you're struggling to find air, you know, I, I can pick up and get you some air. Mm -hmm. Now that's a monster drink, but <laughs> for me, it's like air. For you, it's like <laughs> air. <laughs> that's what flows through his veins. But um, we wanted to we wanted to talk about that today and talk about giving. Tyler, what do you think about that, buddy? Well, yes. I mean, it's when when that oxygen mask falls down and you've finally gotten your own on the airplane, you can, if you've then, ever flown, then you can actually look to your left and right and um, and see who you can help and. Um, yeah, it's we were talking about. I think we were talking about with Chris Cavallini on the podcast last week. Um, that oh, that was the funniest thing I've ever heard ever. What he said I mean, when he was talking about giving and going and and doing things nice for people. Yeah, and coming oh, out of such a rough background. Yeah, the yeah. only reason he did it, he was like Tony Robbins told him. He to was do like it. Tony Robbins told me to do it. He said that's what successful people do is they give back. So I would go to the soup kitchen and help serve, not because I like those people, but because he told me to do it. Yeah, and, uh, and, and we were talking to him. I can't remember if it was like offline afterwards or if it was during, but we were talking about how 
sometimes um, sometimes it's like you're almost uh, not ashamed, but like you're almost like fearful of talking about what you give more than what you talk about what you like earn and what you yeah. receive. Like it's almost like it's a weird thing. Like when you like for to come out and say like, hey, I made this much this year versus like, hey, I gave away. It's almost like. I don't know. I don't know what it is because that maybe it's because that's like the ultimate success. Like it's one thing to say you're successful because you earned a bunch to be able to say like what you've been able to give and what you've been able to provide. Like maybe right, that's, right. Maybe that's just like a whole nother level of success. I don't, Do I don't you know, know what you were able to give this year? I know. We didn't even talk about I know about roundabout. Yeah. What do you think it was? I think it's probably close to 80, 85,000. Dude, that's awesome. I'm pretty sure. It's incredible. I mean, four weeks ago I wrote a... I wrote a check to my church for twenty one thousand five hundred one check. Dude, I love that. Um, and then, so here's a cool story. So and it's actually a great story for. And you have a really cool church that uses <clears throat> the money for some really good stuff. Yeah, so this is a good. I don't um, believe in it, but I know you do. <laughs> <laughs> so here's a. Uh, a good and I've been story. getting emails from them nonstop since you signed me up for that. It's because I put you on auto draft. <laughs> I've been giving to your church all year too. <laughs> Uh, All right, let me find this real quick. You know what we were able to give away this year? Mm -mm. 300 grand. That's awesome. Dude, that has helped so many people. Mm -hmm. and see, who cares about the money aspect of it? Because I really don't care about the money aspect of it. But what? But I can go through story after story after story of the kids in India, you know, because you're part of that too. Yeah. You're part of, of, of rescuing the kids through Set Free Alliance in mm -hmm. India and making sure they have a future. Yeah. Um, we're 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 part of that. We well, personally gave that again too. Oh, I know. Yeah. Oh, I know. And uh, and then we're part of um, in Nicaragua. There's 17 or 18 different feeding stations. There's 17, 18 different barrios that we support. We provided employment for Jason. Yeah, I'm a get you. Yeah, I, let's talk I mean, about Steven payroll. Spielberg. Yeah, Spielberg over there. We we look at the look on his face. <laughs> but uh, uh, but you know what? It's it's it's. I don't understand somebody that doesn't look for the opportunities to do that, that, yeah. that, that doesn't do that. Um, we have um, stations in South Carolina and North Carolina, three different mm -hmm. ones where elderly people can come and get their groceries for the month free of charge because uh, we don't want it. I, mean, when, when you, I can't imagine being 60, 70, 80, 90 years old and having to choose between medicine or food mm -hmm. because you're on a fixed income. I can't imagine it. I can't see it. And then forget it and not do something about it. So, so I, would, I know we I would, get on here. I would strategically pick the the medicines that suppress your appetite, but I wish you would strategically. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you're so, that's hilarious. Or the ones that say you don't have a full stomach. Go to point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't don't take this on an empty stomach. You uh, can't get that medicine. That's messed up. But but um, this is what I was going to tell you. So I got a text. Um, this was Sunday. So we were at that event um, in Newark, and I yeah. get this text from uh, Maitland, and we were going to do like an end of year like offering type yeah. deal. Um, so we've already we've already given a lot. Yeah. Um, I hadn't really put much thought into it, and she she texted me and she said, um, she said uh, she said I want to do this year in offering, and uh, I said, what are you thinking? And she said, that's why I'm asking you, ha, huh? and um, and so I said just I said do a thousand, and she said she texted me back. Uh, this is two and a half hours later. She said I originally wrote the check for a thousand, and I kept feeling like it should be five thousand. Uh, and then um, he asked if any of us had just wrote down the bare minimum. I literally felt like he was directly looking at me, so I wrote it for five thousand. Hmm. So just like on a whim, just that's multiplied awesome. it five x. Yeah. You know, and, and my response was, "That's awesome!" Like, yeah. And so, like, when you get to a place where you can give, like, I know you talk about this out of your heart, not yeah. not from your wallet. Well, when you can make um, decisions based off of what's in your heart, yeah, exactly, and not based off of what's in your wallet, exactly. Like the 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 stuff that can be done, man, and. and and, uh, and how it enriches your life. Like when you give with no expectation, it enriches your life beyond anything. And, and what it does, it's, it's almost like it draws more mm -hmm. of the resources to you. Um, like I, I legitimately can look, and if somebody has no resources in their life, like I understand, I understand going through rough patches yep. and hitting broke, mm -hmm. okay? But poverty, is a disease. It is not a bank account. Broke is your bank account. You hit yeah. rough times, man. You hit rough patches in life. A business collapses. You can be broke. Yeah. Not a problem. But if you choose to stay there long term, and it turns into poverty, 
then that's a disease of the mind and the spirit. Mm -hmm. I believe it's a disease of the soul. But uh, but but when I see that long term, and I know people are going to get really, really frustrated or probably send something mean to me mm -hmm. about this. But when I see that long term in a in a society or a group of people or a single person, I know beyond a shadow of a doubt that's not a giver. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, I know beyond a shadow of a doubt, they don't understand the laws of nature, right? Mm -hmm. They don't understand those laws. And those laws of nature say that if I take an orange seed and I plant an orange seed, a fucking apple tree is not going to grow, <laughs> okay? No. It's not going to be corn. Mm -hmm. It's going to be an orange tree. Mm -hmm. and, and, and there's a time to plant that. And as it grows and water it and, and groom that tree and trim it and prune it and, and stake in the ground and make sure it grows straight, make sure it's taken care of, there's a lot, a lot of time that goes into taking care of that. Mm -hmm. And when that tree matures and the harvest comes, how many oranges come off that one tree from that one seed? Yeah. Thousands upon thousands upon thousands, yeah. right? So... It is the same thing with love and joy and hope and peace. And so when I see someone with no love in their life, I know that that's someone that has withheld love from everyone around them. Mm -hmm. They don't understand the concept. Yeah. Um, because if you want love to grow, you must plant it with people. And and literally, people will get mad at hearing this sometimes. Mm -hmm. Like like they'll go, I like everybody around me. I can't believe you mm -hmm. freaking say blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, yeah, I can feel it. I, I feel your like right now, mm -hmm. <laughs> right? And, it's and it's and it's easy to um, to sit back and for someone to say, "Well, it's great." You talked about giving away money and how much money you give. I don't have any money to give, um, but 2014, I was giving 10 percent of my unemployment checks, like literally, like to the dollar, um, on unemployment, and then. That's when everything started to change. Not because of that, but everything started to change after that. But I was giving it before, like, yeah. so it's 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 proportionate, right? Yeah. And people talk about like, you know, money being the root of all evil. It's it's not money being the root of all evil. It's the love of money, right? Um, and what I know is and, that, and and it's not. I, I would say. I would say it's not even the love of money. It's the, and I know that that's a verse in the Bible, and yeah, I'm not yeah. trying to go against yeah, yeah. that. I would say that if I love it more, more yeah. than I love you, it's where, if, where I got a heart, problem. Yeah, it's like if that's right? where your heart is, yeah. more than just like love. I mean, because I'll tell you right now, I love having money. Yeah, of course. I love it. I've been broke. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've had surgery on Medicaid. Mm -hmm. I've, been, I've, been on, I've been down that terrible, awful road, and yeah. I've, I had terrible self-esteem from it, mm -hmm. um, and, and I've clawed my way out it. It's, it's I sometimes on our social media stuff. Do you ever get people to go? Well, it's easy for you to say you have money. Mm -hmm. you, you, that's easy for you to say. Yeah. Um, you got it easy, man. You, you're making all this money. What? No, that hasn't always been that way. Mm -hmm. Did you hear what he just said? He was his unemployment checks. Like, yeah. like yeah. you were on unemployment. Yeah. And, uh, and everyone so, without. Yeah. Yeah. And it's so always provided for. So uh, and it has to do with giving and what you're giving. And so that's this season. This is Christmas season. Is is and you may not have any money right now. You may not. You may be broke. That is a that's a bank account problem. And you can fix that, but you can still go out. And when you see somebody, man, you can light up with a smile and you can sow some joy into that person's life, right? You can you can greet somebody and and tell them, man, that is a great outfit. Those are beautiful earrings. Man, you look great today. Or 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 man, how are you doing today? Any mm -hmm. just a stranger. Hold the door for a stranger this Christmas. That's giving, right? Live a giving lifestyle. So give the things that you want to to start growing in your own life. If if you have people that betray you all the time and it's constant betrayal, man. I got to tell you, betrayal's in there some way, so, 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 so stop doing it, mm -hmm. right? So, so get away from that and start just sowing loyalty with people. Yeah. You may need to change the people you hang around, too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but, uh, and one thing, too, that for me that's specifically important about giving, and, and when I say giving, I'm talking about like giving financially, whether it's like actual money or by yep. doing something for someone that costs money, is it, it flips a switch in your brain and it creates a environment of abundance 
Because if you're sure. able to give, that means you are telling yourself, I have enough and there is overflow of what I have to mm-hmm. be able to give to somebody else. Versus when you store everything and you keep everything yep. to yourself, that is a lack mentality. That is a, there's not enough oh. for everyone. Oh, there's not enough for everyone. So have for, or for everywhere or everything or everything that I want to do. So I got to keep it all and I need to hoard it all because yeah, I don't know if there's going to be something else down the road. Right. But w- just the simple act of giving tells yourself something subconsciously that you have plenty, that there is plenty more coming where that came from, and that there is so much so that you have the ability to go and let that overflow into other people. That's right. Like, I I did a Facebook Live um, a couple weeks ago. Uh, It was was actually after I had written that um, large check, and um, I had talked about how I was was kind of feeling like I was in that mentality, and like literally that one act of like writing that one check, like, like that. It yep. just compl- like my whole mindset just completely. It's like an act of worship almost. Mm-hmm. It's like it completely changed everything when you're able to do something that nobody expects you to do. That's right. Um, it, it just changes your mentality and changes your perspective on oh, everything yeah. because you start thinking differently. You start thinking of like, okay, well, when I'm able to you know hustle, 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 do this, do this, do this, what am I going to be able to then? Mm-hmm provide for others or give to others. My goal is to now get to, to where I can give away a million dollars a year. And once I get there, I'll change it to 10. Mm -hmm. And, and once I get to 10 million a year that I can give away, I'll change it to. And so I base a lot of my goals off of what I can get. Yeah. I have my um, vision board on my, on my phone. And uh, it's funny because one of the things that's on it says, uh, give away a hundred thousand dollars in one year. There's another one on it. It's up here. It's kind of cut off, but it says, uh, give somebody a car. And uh, like other things like that, like those are on my vision board, mm-hmm. like things I want to do. And it's so funny because one of our really good friends, her name is Mackenzie, um, she got in a car accident. They like, they said her car was total, which didn't seem like it, but they told her car. So she was having to get a new car. She's like one of our best friends. And, and uh, Malin was like, hey, why don't you go in Tyler's closet and look at that poster board in there and give him a call and say, hey, I see you want to give I a car away. I see you want to give someone a car. <laughs> and I was like, tell her she's not nearly as, le- as uh, uh, less fortunate as I'm looking to give someone to. <laughs> I'm like, I'm, I'm not looking to give somebody a uh, Mercedes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's Funny man, yeah, but and you uh, just gave it. You just gave a car away. It was just actually to my funny. mama. Yeah, that's yeah. Funny. yeah, I was able to give a car to my mom, which is, man, that's 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 the only stuff that matters, right? Yeah. I mean, to be able to, and it creates a memory, and it and and you're able to share like it's. And the other cool thing about Christmas. Um, and giving, and I was talking to Sylvania, who we had on the podcast a couple weeks ago about this, but um, like my wife and I, we don't do gifts for each other. We yeah. we sponsor families and do gifts for them yeah. um, through the family effect. Mm-hmm. Um, and so this year, I think we did three families or something. We did we did one gigantic family last year. I was like, how many kids do they have? <laughs> <laughs> like, did you say six kids? Mm-hmm. Um, but I think this year we did like three families. And then with our with my sister and bro- sister in law and brother in law in Asheville, um, we don't do gifts with them. We combined sponsor a family, and literally like Malin, she gets the most joy out of it. Like literally, if you went into my dining room right now, every square inch of our 20 foot dining room table yeah. and on the floor is nothing but boxes and gifts and everything that now I have to wrap and, and all oh. that stuff. Uh, but to give these families, and it's like the coolest thing ever because these families literally, that is their entire Christmas. Like they would not have a Christmas without it. Okay. I remember last year we got a, um, a handwritten letter from this lady um, that was one of the families. And it was just like, you know, because they don't expect you to buy like everything on the list, just like a couple of things. We bought like every single thing on every one of the kids' lists. And um, and it was just talking about like, she was talking about like how like, it, it was how emotional she was and how awesome it was because she's like, we wouldn't have had like, that was our entire Christmas. Yeah. We wouldn't be able to open all these gifts, uh, which is so much better. Cause like anyone watching this, what do you really need? Like, I know, right? Really what do you need? really like, like? Hey, what do you want for Christmas, Johnny? <laughs> like, more socks, like, a tie. What yeah, do I? What like, do I yeah, you know I mean, what I'm saying? It's, it's so silly at this point. Like, if you're not a child, you know, yeah. you don't really need to give each other gifts. But right. To be able to do something like that and use that money for that. You know what Kim and I do with the thing. kids now? So we'll take we'll take um, we'll take a couple thousand dollars and turn it mm-hmm. into twenties, fifties, and hundreds, and uh, and we'll go with our children to all the places that we go. Over the year, uh, so 
like my son and I love to go to this one Waffle House, and yeah. and then we have another place. You know, all the restaurants we like yeah. going to. My daughters and I we go on dates, and we'll go. There's one restaurant we go to specifically a lot, mm-hmm. and um, and just different places we shop at or or whatnot. You know, and we'll all go as a family and let the kids go in and take and mm-hmm. give you know fifty or hundred or twenty. And say Merry Christmas to the people that have waited on us and served us and helped us. Yeah. And and, uh, and so it is such, but it's teaching our kids mm-hmm. that the real meaning of this season is giving, yeah. right? Yeah. And uh, and so it's and that's a, it's so a important, especially especially when you have been successful and you have created a lifestyle that most kids don't um, get to live in, is to be able to instill those things in them so they don't mm-hmm. like like you always talk about like this isn't normal like yeah like, like your yeah. daughter wasn't normal for her to be able to go to Belize on like a twelve hour notice yeah you know, over the weekend, weekend. We, yeah we went to Belize and and it, it was <laughs> you know. like hey pack a bag and. It's going to be, it's gonna be warm. And, I know it's snowing here, but it's going to be warm. And the fact that she even <laughs> asked me, she was like, Daddy, do we have first class tickets? And I was like, what the? Yes, we do, but I can't even believe you asked me that. And and uh, and so we, we go on um, mission trips down to Nicaragua uh, yeah. every year and yeah, yeah. take my kids and stuff so that they see what mm-hmm. it's like to grow up in a third world country. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And that's, I mean, what my, different. and that's what my, different. my uh, sister-in-law and brother-in-law, they do. They take their, um, at Christmas, they take um, Tegan, their, their son, my nephew, um, to the hospital and he passes out gifts to the kids yeah. in the hospital. That's and he's so just cool. always done it. And I like looks forward and he like, when he walks in, he's like, we're here to give gifts to the kids. You know, yeah. like, and so we even talk about with Arden, she's 14 months, like as she starts to get to where she can like actually comprehend two, things. Two years, like, you'll be able to start doing it. Yeah. yeah. And so that's, I mean, at the end of the day, that's what it's, um, it's all about. That's awesome. And so if you're listening to this podcast, um, I, man, don't, don't look at that and go, well, that's good for you. Or dude, we're not trying to I, like, I'm nothing. Like I'm not a se- exceptionally smart. I'm short. I'm only five nine. Like I'm not exceptionally good looking. I know. I know. I know. Some of you are thinking, "Yes, you are," but <laughs> but he is humble. Uh, but uh, not exceptionally good looking. I'm not exceptionally talented. Like all the sports I played, I had to work really, really, really hard to get good at them. Like there's just not. Um, there's not a lot of, about me that's over. Like any. I'm average, right? And uh, but but there's. Um, so there's so we're not te- we're not telling you that we do those things so you can go oh y'all are great guys or you're mm-hmm. you're an exceptional person no I'm not nah. I don't even like a lot of people right but I but like most people you do like I don't like most people oh you don't see? <laughs> yeah I mean you know I, I kind of like to be by myself in yeah. certain places yeah. and and uh, but but this has just become a part of our lives is is giving mm-hmm. and I'm telling you. It has enriched my life, and mm-hmm. it has made my life better. And so I'm not stopping now. Yeah. My, my goal was to get to $100,000 that we could give away. Now my goal, my next goal is a million. Mm-hmm. And I'm just going to keep adding zeros until I take my last breath, right? And uh, and so I am, uh, I'm super excited about that. I'm super excited. The, the last thing I'll say to close is a quote that I heard the other day, and it's awesome. It said, you were able to believe in Santa Claus... For seven, eight, some of you nine, ten years, you can believe in yourself for one more day. <laughs> that's Dude, that's saying. great. <laughs> that's awesome. Uh, oh. So with that, we do hope everybody has a uh, merry, merry Christmas. We apologize for an F-bomb earlier in a, oh. in a Christmas podcast. And we're not taking we'll it out. <laughs> <laughs> so those of you that were, I'm sure, watching this around the Christmas tree with your kids unwrapping gifts, we apologize for them hearing that. <laughs> Dude, let me be the one to teach them that word. That's so cool. <laughs> uh, but enjoy your time. Enjoy yeah. uh, time with your family and, and the holidays and all the things yeah. that go around with that. And uh, use that as a time. Last thing I'll say, use that as a time to refresh, to hit the refresh button because um, it's trying to get right back at it when you go back into it. A lot of people take that first part of January to ease their way into it. No, I hit it like a Hit the refresh and just boom. Yeah. Yeah. So with that, this is episode 45 of the Sales Wolves podcast, Christmas Christmas extravaganza. Christmas edition. We even have a bonsai tree. We have a bonsai (laughs) Christmas tree. And we have ornaments. And we have a fire thing budget was low this week on the podcast low but budget that's all right but all right. i am tyler harris joseph caldwell and we are the sales wolves. merry christmas Ow. <laughs>